Hey everybody, it's Josh here. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to vertically center align anything in Divi. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create this same look to where we have text on the left and image on the right, but you'll notice that the padding is perfect on the top and the bottom. And we're gonna do this without using extra padding or margins or things that can really throw designs off in tablet and mobile view. And I'm also gonna show you how to do this with different rows as well. So here you'll notice we have a lot of text on the left with a two thirds and one third layout and the image is perfectly centered in between the two. Now I wanna come right out of the gate and say that this is actually based off a tutorial by Michelle Noonan of Divi Soup. And she had a similar uh, tutorial that has really helped out myself with almost all Divi sites that I create. And so I'm gonna use kind of what she created initially, but we're gonna take it to the next level. And I think that tutorial bears going into a little more detail because I get a lot of questions about how to create this look and how to easily center things. So let's go ahead and dive right in. We're gonna go ahead and create a new page. Okay, and let's call this vertical centered page for now. And we're gonna use the Divi Builder. And I tell you what, we're gonna go ahead and just dive in and use the Visual Builder because it might be a little easier to kind of see this and we'll show you how to create this. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is create two columns. And on the left column, I'm gonna go and put in some Latin text that I have saved. So I'm using a text module. We're gonna go ahead and paste that in. And for the sake of this tutorial, let's go ahead and duplicate this so we have two big paragraphs. And I'm gonna go ahead and add an image on the right column here. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and upload this image that I showed you up on front. This is a picture of me and my lovely wife. So we're gonna go ahead and use that. But I wanna style this just a little bit differently. Uh, let me just give it maybe a, a nice circle. So we're gonna give this a border radius and I just went into my settings, advanced into the custom CSS and then main element, which is where you can adjust the actual element of the module. So I'm gonna give this a border radius of 100%. Now you'll notice it didn't do anything, but if I give it this little overflow hidden, boom, there we go. It actually takes that whole border radius right there. So I also wanna give this maybe a max width just because it's kind of a big image. Let's do a max width of maybe 350 pixels. There we go, yeah, that looks pretty good. And lastly, let's go ahead and go into the design and let's just center align this so that way it's always gonna be centered. There we go, so, okay, we're off to a good start, but again, we see that there's quite a bit of padding below this image and it's not centered with this content. Now this isn't a bad look, but there are numerous situations that I've had in the past where my client has wanted things to be centered or I just want things to be centered. So we're gonna go ahead and dive into this step by step. So let's go ahead and exit the Visual Builder. Okay, so again, we have the text on the left with the image on the right, and there's quite a bit of padding underneath it here. Now, we could just go into the settings and we could add some more padding or margins, but again, if you wanna change the section around, you're gonna to have to go in and adjust the padding more and more. So I find it better just to use this because no matter what, it's gonna be centered. So the first thing that we're gonna do is I'm gonna go into my style sheet and I have this little chunk of code saved that I'm gonna to give to you, but we are gonna add this class of vertical align and you're gonna see three little lines of text that are basically just telling no matter what is in that column, to be centered, right? Here's the big one. The justify content means that the display of this column is going to be centered. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that, and I'm gonna copy this class vertical-align. So we're gonna go ahead and go back here into our visual builder. Okay, and it just told me that it's saved, so I'm gonna go ahead and refresh. Now again, it doesn't look like anything yet because we haven't added this class to this whole row, but let's go ahead and go into our visual builder. Okay, and there's two main steps that we need to do. Now, we're not gonna address this by module. We're gonna address the entire row itself. So we're gonna go into the row settings. We're gonna go to design. First things first, we need to go into spacing, or I'm sorry, we need to go into sizing, and we need to hit equalize column heights. Now, when you do that, a lot of people think when you check that, it's automatically gonna center everything, but that's not the case. It just centers the columns. It doesn't center the content that's in the columns. So here's where we need to add this class, but don't worry, it's super, super easy. We're gonna go into advanced class IDs and classes, and you'll notice that Divi not only gives us the ability to add a class to the entire row, but to each column, which is super cool. So check this out. I have that vertical-align class saved with the right content in there, so I'm gonna go ahead and paste that into the class, and not the ID, but the class, 
And now watch here. When I drop it in here, this should center align that image. Boom, there we go. So all you have to do, let me go ahead and save this real quick. All you have to do is add this little chunk of code into your style sheet and you can call this class whatever you want. I just call it vertical align because it's easy to remember. And then all you have to do is drop that into the rows here and then you are all set to go. So let's try this again, but let's do maybe a different row. Let's go ahead and add another column. Uh, I tell you what, let's change the background on this so we just we can tell it's a different section. I'm going to do a regular section, but I'm going to show you just like how we did the previous page to so where we have two thirds and one thirds, and we're just going to duplicate this content. We're going to go ahead and drag this content in here, and let's go ahead and duplicate that a couple of times. There we go, and let's duplicate this image, and we're just going to drag this image right here. And let's just go into the actual section settings and let's just give this a background color just to kind of separate the two sections. There we go. Okay, now again, you notice right off the bat, there's still a lot of spacing here because we haven't added the class into this row. You could go in here, but again, this is what's so tricky is you could go in here and you could go to the spacing and you know you could add you know a few hundred pixels of a padding up top. Oh, that really looks funky there. So we don't even wanna mess with that. Again, this is why this trick is so handy. So we're gonna go into our row settings. Again, we're going to design sizing, equalize column heights, but it's not gonna show up until we put those classes in. So we're going to advanced classes, column one class, vertical align and here we go i'm going to put this in and it should jump it right to the center boom there we go easy easy peasy now what's really cool about this too is let's say your client comes to you with changes and they want to delete a bunch of content well if i delete all this content here there we go it aligns center perfectly even you know both sides the text looks good and the image looks good let's say i go in here and if i were to delete that class right here you're going to notice that the text should jump up right there because it's not aligned. So this is really beneficial in this kind of situation where you have an image or maybe a call to action, you have some text here, but it just looks kind of funky. Now again, you could go in here and you could add some padding to the actual text class, but if you add more text, eventually it's gonna you know mess it up and you're gonna have to go in and, and redo a bunch of work that you already did. So this is kind of standard. I have this set for all of my sites to where I just go in and all I have to do is add vertical align and boom, it's gonna center it. So that's how you can vertically center align anything in Divi. Thank you again to Michelle Noonan for originally creating this. I think she is the first one that had a tutorial on this, so I'll make sure I link it and give her full credit for helping me out with tons of sites over the past few years. So I hope this helps you guys out. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, enjoy saving some serious time being able to vertically align your stuff in Divi. All right, cheers guys.